We we talked a couple of weeks ago, or I've shared maybe a couple of times that I thought for the longest time that like AOL was the internet, and how yeah. blown away I was when I broke out of that walled garden for the first time and realized, oh my god, there's actually like an internet beyond AOL. It's weird to me because I was looking from the outside and I couldn't understand how everybody was. It didn't click for months. When people talked about the internet, they were talking about AOL. It was weird. But well, yeah, John, go on. John said that's because outside of America, it didn't work that way. And you and him both started outside and as outsiders, yeah. as we refer to you. Well, it was America online, right? So, Oh, that's a good point. I never thought of that before. <laughs> I just assumed it represented the entire world as per America. <laughs> Are we, yep. Were we not on yep. the same page about that? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think that's the second time I've <laughs> done on. that this week. Classic American. Um, so anyway, came, came across kind of a fun uh, video today that just sh has sh showed how the, the internet has changed over time. We're going to take a look at it on today's Not So Critical Update. So, are we going to watch the whole thing? Uh, it's it's not that long. It's like two minutes. We can talk about you it while get, it runs. Can you do, put it in, speed it up? I mean, it is quite speed up, really, but you can put it in, like, double speed or whatever. Uh, well, well, we'll just see how it goes. Well, we, uh, what, what was interesting, so this is starting in 1993, and it's showing yeah. the growth of each site by and then sorted by market share. So, this is showing the top 10 sites. And here we are starting in 93. AOL also really. The also, the number of page views that the, the site's getting, which I think is interesting. It just keeps going up and up and up. So here, 98, uh, AOL's getting 200 million getting... page views. I guess we should like try to pin that. 200, so let's think 200 million. We'll start on, on 2000. So 380 million page views at the, for the most yeah. visited site, AOL, in 2000 when we were dealing with the Y2K bug. And that's Google. Google's appeared on number four. And AOL just it's starts dropping, AOL falls dropping, behind. dropping. And some of these and are fun. suddenly out of nowhere, Google starts <laughs> boing. Bang. Horse race. Here we go. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, Google's coming up from behind. <laughs> was Ask, <laughs> yeah, Ask Jeeves, is Ask what Ask Jeeves was? Is that yeah, a rebrand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, MySpace. Like so in 93, you got MySpace in the top three. Now it just finally started falling out. It this bit is interesting to me because I, I didn't realize that at a certain point, Yahoo took over Google again because Google just exploded. Oh, yeah, then that's Yahoo, true. There was definitely a, a search engine war at one time mm -hmm. when Yahoo and Google were sort of like alternatives to each other. Well, Yahoo was a um, directory, right? That was the main distinction. Yahoo was a directory it, where Google was a search engine. Then it had a search engine. Yeah. Then Yeah. And Google wasn't wasn't perfect. It wasn't as ubiquitous as as at the beginning and we are now we're up to like 20 billion page views it's just you know 10 times yeah. as much as a few years ago google really has um, held on to that number one spot facebook kind of came out of nowhere myspace disappeared i was shocked no at this point that yet. amazon wasn't actually higher on the list i thought amazon would have been one of the top four or five i don't know if netflix even shows up on the list either um I think it's a yeah. like and here's the first porn Netflix. site in the top ten in 2019. It doesn't you don't get lots of page views. You spend a lot of time on Netflix, but you don't just constantly refresh uh, it. Right? That's a good point. I wonder what TikTok yeah, would look like. That's what I was wondering. I think maybe because you just go to TikTok and look at it. How come Twitter's so high though? Um, like you, it's just one, one page on TikTok. Because it was my my question was like, we're at 2022 now. Where's TikTok? Yeah, um, I thought the whole point of TikTok though was that it was re like sending a page request for each um, video yeah. as he went through. Is that not true? Wait, I was just trying. Uh, to I don't know. There. I don't know how it, it counts these exactly. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I also expected Facebook to be higher, um, but Google just blows everything away. Really, it's sort of an unfair comparison because they're just so. Big. Yeah. And I assume this is Google search and not everything Google. 
Yeah, probably because YouTube is separated out. Yeah, Google's got an unfair advantage because you basically go to Google before you go to any other page, right? Like, Google's how yeah, you find right. the page you're, that you want to go to. Yeah, it's, oh my God, the number of times that I've seen one of my parents, <laughs> well, actually my dad's pretty good, but one of my parents like want to go to, uh, I don't know, Gmail, and they'll go to Google and type in Gmail and click the first click, link. It's, the, it's, it's click the paid ad to get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh I my people, God. When I was so, in IT, I used to see people do that all the time. Oh, just, just I, I, for a while, I would try and correct people and go, you know, you don't have to do that. I know. And then... They just be like, really? Can you? And then the next time you go to their desk and they do the same thing again and be like, okay, so you're just not listening to me at all. Um, it's weird. I don't get it. Yeah, but I haven't. I, I, here are my notes. I'm oh, sorry. Go on. I was I just on the way people use Google. I have a nonprofit, and I had a guy come up to me and say, like, this this page on our site is no longer accessible. Our event calendar. You can't get to our event calendar anymore. So I looked at the site and checked the navigation. Like, could see the calendar. I. He kept reporting it to me. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's on my phone. I can't like the, the events calendar is just not available anymore. I said, show me what he was showing me was a Google result when he Googled the name of the organization. And I guess he used to see like it broken down by page and then like the index just wasn't showing it that way anymore. But that's how he navigated our site. Not by going to the site, by Googling individual <laughs> pages that he wanted to see on the site. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I to suppose, do with these people. I suppose if something works a certain way, you just keep doing it until it yeah. changes and they, you don't have to understand it. Yeah. It's, All I, right. What were your notes? Know. Oh yeah. So uh, I thought found this fascinating. First of all, um, I found it really interesting with that guy who actually took over Google for a short time for a few months. Um, but one of the things that stood out to me was that not much has changed since 20, but about 2017. So if, if you watch the thing, there's down in the bottom few, it kind of flicks around a little bit, but essentially not much movement. Yeah, what were the... Like at the beginning, there was stuff coming in and going out and the sites were taking over others and there was like, uh, I don't know, things that I'd never heard of were in there. There was some American stuff, um, uh, you know, popping in and out of the top 10 brands that I'd never heard of. Yeah, and then was, after uh, like 2017, it's pretty static. Google, Facebook, <clears throat> YouTube like own that those top spots and nothing moved them before yeah. that you had Yahoo, you had MySpace was at, towards the top of the list for a while. Amazon had crawled up, but then fell back down. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. Um, so, so it makes me wonder, like, does this mean we've sort of stagnated? You know, what, what's, where are the new trends? It's been five years, six well, years. Well, yeah. I mean, um, I think that's a question with like social media. Facebook and Twitter are so entrenched. There's really not a lot of yeah. diversity. TikTok. TikTok has shown up, but it hasn't really yeah. replaced anything, has it? It's still, no. Facebook still has a chokehold, stranglehold on the top of the yeah. top of the heap. Twitter's not. Maybe really some close. of the AI stuff is gonna. I don't know. Take over. I can see AI being more useful as a search engine than like, like Google. But then Google will just probably buy a, an AI company and stick it in. I don't know. Yeah. So the other thing was, uh, uh, it, I, still, I still find it crazy that Yahoo is in the top ten at all. Even still, yeah. It's bonk. Yeah, it's bonkers to me that I just I don't know. Uh, Yahoo Finance is pretty good, I suppose. But who goes to Yahoo? I know. Do you know anyone who uses that regularly? It's all the boomers that um, have it bookmarked on their computers. <laughs> Yeah. Their homepage. All the people who are still using AOL. Um, apparently, that AOL have a massive uh, dial-up business. They have a few million people who are still connecting via dial-up, and they make a lot of money through it. <laughs> Is that true? Which makes they sense. They still do. Some rural... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few million dollars a month, a few tens of millions. I don't know how much it is, but it's still, you know, viable. I'm a little um, surprised. Maybe uh, like Baidu's not up bigger. I think that's a Chinese search engine. Yeah, I I question how accurate these metrics are mm. but you know um so but is like what five billion wait uh yeah five billion five and a half billion and google's at 89 that seems like a massive discrepancy yeah um, i mean it could be where the data is available he cites the sources here in the, on the video but you're right there could be other more thorough sources for some of this um it's interesting this basically is all search engines and social media except 
for Wikipedia and a porn site, next video. <laughs> um, I think yeah. they're, they're probably quite proud of that, aren't they? Cracking the top 10. <laughs> so, well done, guys. <laughs> top 10 top sites. Uh, there we go. 3 billion, 357 million page views a day. Yeah. 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 So that's a lot of so this should just be some fun. We will uh, have a big story tomorrow. Whatever What's whatever the big site? story for the week is, yeah. I predict here on the 29th that we will have that for tomorrow, and we will have John back, second prediction. And if both of those things happen, Peter owes me a pizza. Because that's how you, you, predictions you work, apparently. You know what? Fine. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll send you a fucking pizza. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, you, no. You got it. <laughs> oh my God. What have I done? Now I opened the door. I set a, <laughs> yeah, set a new yeah, standard. Yeah. Oh, great. Here I we will go. abide by, by the rules yeah, because <laughs> those are the rules. So. How much predictions get a pizza? Deal. Yeah. It takes it. I've created a monster. All right. See you tomorrow.